Hi, it's Nick at Jordan Bikes. I'm here in our dyno to tell you a bit more about tuning. We've got the Dynajet Tuning Centre here and we can fit power commanders and remap your ECU. But day after day we get asked the same questions, so I thought I'd do a short video just to tell you a bit about what we do and what you get for your money basically if you give us your money. So to start with, just briefly how uh, an engine works. Obviously you've got your explosion in the cylinders and that makes the um, pistons go up and down. But the bigger the explosion, for want of a better word, uh, the more power you get. And generally speaking, the perfect explosion happens at 13.2 parts air to one part of fuel. And we spend the time on the dyno with the bike to try and get this perfect formula on each bike. So it does vary from bike to bike. Some run better at 13, some run better at 14 to one, but that's about the formula you need. So if a bike comes to us and someone's fitted an aftermarket exhaust, for example, uh, they might have made it too lean because there's so much air going through the system, it pulls more air in the front. So it's put too much air in the mix, not enough fuel. So we can then remap the ECU or fit a power commander to get it mapping right and get the fueling right to try and get back to that perfect ratio of 13.2 to 1. And the difficulty here is trying to get that ratio all the way through the revs because it's easy enough doing it at a constant rev, but the more you rev, the more fuel goes through. So we have to program it all the way through the revs in every single gear to try and get that perfect ratio and that perfect explosion, if you like. So that's what a dyno does and that's what fuel mapping is. So I'll tell you a bit more about the ECU remapping that we do. We've covered uh, power commanders in different videos, but this is about the ECU remapping because it's what we get the most inquiries on, to be honest. So you've got a couple of options. Forget Ducatis for the minute because they cost a little bit more, it's a bit more involving. Uh, we do the same work, it's just more involving, so the prices are slightly more. But for all the Japanese bikes that we're able to do, it's £220 for a bench remap and £330 if you then want to upgrade for the uh, full custom dyno fuel map as well. So for the £220, I'll tell you what you get to start with. So most of the bikes now that come into the country are governed by the Euro 4 emissions regulations, which means that the manufacturer, be it Suzuki or Yamaha or whoever, and the engineers have designed this bike and this engine to be capable of putting out so much horsepower. And for the big superbikes now, that's around 200. It then goes through the homologation process and the regulations and trying to get it accepted in the various countries that they export to. And Europe has got very strict emissions regulations, so they must restrict the bikes, restrict the fuel flow, do various bits and bobs to, to limit them to make them pass the emissions. Uh, and in countries like Germany and France, that's perfectly relevant because they have strict emissions rules. In this country, we don't have any emissions tests on the bike MOT, so we're lucky that we're able to de-restrict them and to get rid of all the limitations to give you a lot, lot more power. And so it runs as the manufacturers intended in, in the first place when they designed the bike. So for your 220 pounds uh, benchmark, what we do is, I've got some notes to make sure I don't forget, a lot to go through. Um, a lot of bikes are restricted in gears one to four. So basically they've got a different fuel map uh, in gears one to four than in the, the fifth gear. So we'll copy and paste the map from gear five into the first four gears so it's more de-restricted. And the reason they've restricted the first four gears is basically to, to save you from yourself because they don't want you to have full power accessible in the first four gears, but I'm sure that's your choice, not theirs. So we de-restrict the first four gears. Um, we also map what's called a secondary throttle plate. So I won't go into too much detail, but that basically gives you a much smoother power delivery and a lot more torque and a good mid-range and uh, extra power. So, uh, most bikes nowadays as well have something called a pair valve. You may or may not have heard of it. And what it is, it's designed again for emissions, just purely for emissions. It takes dirty gases that are coming out of your engine and recirculates them into the air mixture so that there's less mucky gas coming out of the back, which is all well and good as far as reducing emission, but it means that the gas going into the front of your engine is dirty, dirty and hot. And dirty hot air does not burn very well. So we disable the pair valve, so all the mucky, the mucky air coming out of your engine goes out at the back and your air box is only sucking in clean, cold air and it gives you a much better burn. Again, in Germany and France you wouldn't be allowed to do that because they test the emissions. Here we don't, so that gives you a good amount of power does that, it just makes it a cleaner, healthier burn. Um, we can also disable the deceleration fuel cut and what that means is on a bike, if you're going into a corner and you roll off your throttle, your injectors are going to close fully. As you come out of the bend and open your throttle again, it, there's a slight delay in the fuel getting back through again, and there's a bit of a lag, like a turbo lag in a car. So that as you accelerate, there's a little bit of a lag, and then it picks up and goes. We 
where we will um, disable this deceleration of fuel cut so that it doesn't cut the fuel fully. We'll keep your injectors open if a few percent, you maybe 20% open, so that as you're going into the bend, fuel carries on going through, and as you accelerate out of the bend, uh, there's still some fuel there, and it pulls a lot, a lot smoother, a lot, a lot quicker. So you don't get that lag, it just pulls out the bend a lot smoother. And of all the bikes that we've remapped, that's the one thing everybody said, they can feel a massive difference accelerating, it's just so much smoother. Uh, what else do we do? For the base map for £220, we also put the bike on the dyno and we put a base map into the ECU, a base fueling map. We've already put map 5 onto the first four gears, but we can go one further than that and we can basically put a dyno developed map onto your bike. It's not specific to your exact bike, but it's specific to your make and model and the exhaust you may have fitted. So it fuels a lot, lot better. So that's what you get for 220 quid. Everybody asks what kind of gains that they get. We never give you a, a guarantee because every single bike is different. You could line up 10 bikes that are all identical and they'd all give different readings. Also, uh, hot air doesn't burn as well as cold air because the oxygen content is less. So if you have your dyno run done on a boiling hot day, the power that uh, it reads will be a lot less than if you do it on a freezing cold day. Same as if you go up a mountain, it's, you struggle to breathe because there's less oxygen content on a hot day, less oxygen content, so you get different reading. But just to be really rough and vague, uh, something like a GSXR 600, uh, 2007, 2008, that sort of year, would generally get about 10 brake horsepower extra for the bench remap. Um, 750s, 1011, and the thousands between 10 and 12. Um, so we do get good results but we don't promise because every single bike is different like I said. So that's what you get for 220 quid. If you want to go one further and have the full job for 330 quid, we'll do all we've just said and then we'll do your full custom fuel map on the dyno. And what that means is basically in every single gear, at every single rev, we'll make the bike fuel correctly, specific to your bike. So it's custom made, custom done to your bike. It takes about half a day so it's quite time consuming but you do get much better results then because it's specific to your bike. Um, let's have a look if I've missed anything. We do a few other bits as well, like we disable your lavender sensor, your exhaust servos, we remove top speed limiters, bits and bobs like that. They're all just kind of nice to have, but they don't particularly give you more power. It just stops your FI light being off when you put a race exhaust on. But yeah, for your full 330 quid job, we do a full a fueling map as well as a, an ignition timing map because if you time when your spark happens again you can increase your power just by changing it by a fraction of a second and it makes a bigger explosion so i'll just double check if that's all yeah it is really um we're getting amazing results from things like the new zx10 because uh it comes with uh the quick shifter but we can also make it into an auto blip or we can make it into a down quick shifter as well as an up and that's done through your ECU. We can put your race dash on there as well, again that's through your ECU so you've just got your gear indicator. Uh, we're doing loads of MT10s and R1s as well and the biggest complaint on those is that they are so lumpy. The power delivery is just, it's not nice, it's aggressive, it just kicks in a bit too suddenly. So we're mapping loads of those and getting some good results because it makes it a lot, lot smoother. Uh, that's about it, uh, it sorry, I'm teething. Any other questions, give us a call, but hopefully I've sort of explained a little bit about what you get for your money. And uh, the main aim for this video is if people are ringing up asking the questions, we can direct them to this video and it explains a bit. Uh, hopefully it's not too boring and you've learned a little bit. Thank you very much.